good morning students this is our chapter and the subject is social studies that we are going to read today and our topic is you all can see i think latitudes and longitudes yes that is our chapter so before knowing the chapter we need to know something about our globe so from draw board if i am selecting this highlighter then it will be helpful for you to understand it in a better way yes so in this chapter there is written globe what is globe first time we are going to read about it that globe is a true model or it's a miniature form of the earth i think from the diagram you all can see that there it's also drawn a globe a full size globe from where we can understand the location of oceans continents different countries and the whole world where our country is also located everything we are understanding from the globe but you all know that the globe is not the real earth it's just the 3d model of the full earth so that is written so if the in the question paper it comes that what is globe then you can write this answer as well now this thing we can see in our globes right this brown part we can see this part i am also marking over there this part so what it is that is called the axis what is axis the definition is also given over there a needle is fixed through the globe in a tilted manner which is called an axis so a needle that is called a needle yes which is already fixed with the globe and in a tilted manner the tilted manner that means it's little bit slanting way and which is called the axis so two definition we have learned from the first page of this ppt next we are going to know about the equator this portions we have already learned in our previous classes but still in a better form we are going to learn about this chapter so what is the equator you can see this part i am also drawing over there this part it's also written over there that it's a equator so equator uh measurement it's not written over there i am writing all of you can note down this this is 0 degree this is only 0 degree that is equator what is equator equator is a middle most part which divides the earth into two equal halves you can see this is another half and if i am drawing the uh, if i am changing my pen color then it will be helpful for you to understand and this is another part if an imaginary line goes from east to west like this and if the earth is like this then it can divides the earth into two equal halves the first half is called the northern hemisphere you all know that the first part is called the northern hemisphere and south uh, and the other part is known as southern hemisphere okay this all are situated in the hemisphere correct so what is written over there now you can tell me one thing students that this equator you can see in your naked eyes no we can't see because these are the imaginary lines it's completely written over there please follow up this line these are the imaginary lines and which runs from east to west and divides the earth into two equal halves or two equal parts this is known as equator i think all of you understand this portion so these all lines which are drawn on the earth surface these all are the imaginary lines because with our naked eyes we can't see these kinds of lines so the first part we have done from the chapter which is very important come to the latitude now you tell me do you have any concept about latitude and longitude i think in class 3 and 4 you had that chapter in a brief manner but now in class 5 we are going to read it in a explanatory manner so latitudes first our topic is latitudes right this is our topic so first we have learned 
the equator now you can tell me that uh, equator